It's rough, rough, isn't it? It's always had a bad name for being rough and that. But it ain't rough, really. People are nice people, and it's just the same to be all heading up here when they're doing car thieving. I don't know why, it just seems to be this estate. Every time you hear of a car being pinched, it's always Hawks You never hear Bramley or Kirkstall or Bailey or... It's always Hawks And like I say, it's people that's lived up here all their life that don't come out and say, oh, scared of getting their house smashed. So many joy riders. Oh, yeah, had to burn cars nearly every week or every month. Yeah. Get them off the street. I mean, every night you'll get 20 and 30 walking about, teenagers. There's a lot of people frightened of them because they're such a gang, you know. And they've burned the swings. And you can't go on any swings unless you go with baby ones because they've all been burnt. Smack. That's a bad habit. Smack heads and that robbing houses and that. The burglars that live on the estate, you yeah, know, and the drug, all the, the drugs that are on the estate, it's disgusting. I mean, not these kids. These are the next in line. Being who's on it, not, you don't need that. A decent well, estate it can yeah. be, this, but. They might think, oh, Hockey estate. They're bad. Like everyone else does. <laughs> Like people that don't live on this estate, they don't know what it's really like, but they make it out to be worse than it is. Rip all the edges out, do all the windows, centralating in, give people modern homes. There's a lot of these, they've never had any work done to them at all since they were built. It won't take long to get the, the estate side out. Once the people on the estate can see that somebody's got really serious about changing it for the better, you'll get them back in it. Move, <laughs> Sumo! We are now in Hawkeswood Community Shop on Hawkeswood Broadway. It's quite literally the centre of the of the housing estate, and it's the hub of the community. People come here to buy from us. Obviously, that's what we're here for, and to bring us stuff to sell. I've lived here 28 years, and like everywhere else, it, it over the years it deteriorates. But we haven't had the input other estates have for some reason. It's a, a little island. You can only get on the estate by, on, by three roads. The community spirit is wonderful. One percent of the, if that, of the whole community. That spoil it for the rest of us. If, if anyone's in trouble or needs help, everyone's there. No questions. That'll be £1.50, please. Here on Broadway. Well, my mum and dad live there, yeah. That's where we were born, and that, yeah. So, yeah, I'm keeping the estate clean. I mean, it's like anywhere, isn't it? You're just doing people favours, aren't you? Excuse me, you've not got to stand there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then she's the winner. The school? Oh, it's a lovely school. It's a happy school, it's a friendly school. The kids are lovely. What? Oh, I love it. I love the kids. Kids love me, I think. <laughs> I think they do. 
I love it. I love, like Thomas. I like little Thomas. And, and they all greet you on the dinner time when you come. Yay! I'm Tracy Stainsby. I'm the day supervisor. Um, I'm in charge of the staff and the children on the dinner time. The area has actually got, a, it's got bad publicity. It's not too bad. It's just a few, few silly adults and teenagers really that make it what it is. It was set up by a group of us with the grants from Leeds City Council and we also were awarded a lottery grant of £127,000 to convert an old building, a very old building. It was practically gutted. Anyway, it all went smoothly and um, uh, we got there and we got the shop which was the Bywise refurbished, it was a burnt out shell and they refurbished it and the City Council own it and they let us have it for a peppercorn rent so long as we keep up the maintenance of it and everything. There are many, many groups and societies here and many interlock interlocking groups. In fact, it's got a very strong fabric and I think you can see from the community association that it took years to build this and a couple of key individuals. It, you know, you always say the individual doesn't really matter but actually individuals do. Well, that you've seen, we're now going for half wall, rather than... An issue that the community wants to follow through and, and campaign for, that's basically my job, is to organise that. And if there's any individual that wants some help and uh, assistance, then again, I'm there to help the individual as well. And it's easy seeing the half wall. The elderly care project is funded to provide services to the older people in the local community, providing opportunities for people to join with us and encourage people to come along to a number of social events. I rely very much on local volunteers to, to help in, in all aspects of, of uh, the work that HOPS does. Nine seat back. Nine seat back. You can imagine that as people get older and the gardens become more difficult for them to manage, it causes a certain amount of anxiety and stress and depression that they're not able to manage the gardens anymore. One of our most stalwart volunteers um, is Dick Burke, who's 76 years old himself and does gardens for people who are considerably younger than himself. And Mick Pankhurst as well, who is a tireless worker and does it all for nothing. I don't know where though, but you can go to Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't think we can get through that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Harley Street, I'm Andy. What you've got here is, is an initiative we've launched um, just last year called TriGolf. Um, which is aimed at, at giving children in primary schools the chance to, to try the game of golf. This is um, the means by which we're hoping to break down many of the barriers. What my hope is is that, that some of them will go away thinking, well, I've had a go at this game and I, and I think, I, think I, I wouldn't mind trying another game of golf. And what we're just hoping to do is to expand the horizons and the opportunities for the children um, so that they've, that they've tried different experiences and get something new. Have you all enjoyed yourselves today? Yeah. Pretty good. And do you like golf? Yeah! And one day, are one of you going to beat Tiger Woods for us and win the British Open? Yeah! Okay. Well, we run this safe mainly for social. Uh, really, more than the money, it's to uh, bring people together that's in the community as a social event for them once a week. And um, I'm a founder member of this bingo, which has been going up on the go now for 24 years. So, yeah, Coronation Street. I thought it actually, no, I, thought I thought it, it with was. that taxi driver. No, I thought it was Alma's boyfriend, and that's why she was going out of it with him. expensive which is important and it gives you a chance to meet people in your own circumstances you know people that understand that when you've got a little kid you need to get out well there's all sorts going on it's always really busy there's all the youth groups that are on the park lane courses they do coffee bar on a friday with all different agencies um, to give people advice no it's good they do a lot of positive things Basically, I manage a programme of adult education classes that we run um, mainly in the YMCA but actually over the whole estate. Uh, if I can find an empty space on the estate where I can accommodate a group, I'll try and access it. So I just want a very short plan on that. We make. offer a wide range of courses from basic skills, you know, we're, we're obviously we're trying to attract people back into education. It's those people who maybe dropped out before they gained any qualifications. We have um, mums who maybe had children very young, um, didn't stay on at school, didn't achieve uh, GCSEs. We want to get them back into education. And the third ending paragraph to just try and finish off and sum up. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'm actually just starting from scratch at the minute, you know, because I mean, I left school at 15 and I'm actually starting from the beginning. Um, I'm actually doing it for like three, three years till my daughter starts school. Um, and hopefully getting a good um, GCSEs out of it so I can actually have a good job when I've finished. I'm all right at writing, it's just my paragraphing, my full stops, commas, and stuff like that. And I'm here to get what I need, hopefully, to get myself a job. Oh, yeah, I mean, they're brilliant people. I mean, they've been great with me. Um, you just got your own pace and just get on what you need to do. If there's any women out there that want to do the same thing, there's no stopping them because these facilities are here for, for young children. Besides, they're laughing a joke with us. <laughs> they can always come and join our fun, can't they? <laughs> they can. We have plenty of that, yeah, don't we? Yeah. Positive Press is a newsletter put out by a group of women who meet through Parkland College, don't we, really? And we try to put out a positive newsletter rather than the same old drudge that you get everywhere else. Often, when there's news in the newspapers uh, about, about this as a state, yeah. it's, it's bad, it's negative. Yeah. And we know that there's a, there are a lot of positive things happening on this estate, and we want people to know about it because often you can't see the good stuff for all the bad stuff that's happening. I feel a lot more confident with myself, which about what, two or three years ago, I wouldn't have even done this.
Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I'm really yeah, confident with myself. I can go out into the street now and I'll talk to anybody. <laughs> Like, well, we're all women, we're all mothers, we all know what social problems that, that are surrounding us. And we try, I don't know whether we're overly successful or what, but we try to just remind people that not all children are reprobates. It's the main playing field for the whole of the estate, for all the children that are on it. It's well occupied, all the children in the area use this play area. As you can see, the state in which it's been left in through mindless violence and the teenagers that have nowhere to play and nowhere really of their own. Our children come and use this quite often, but as you can see, without a parent to guide them, there is quite a few dangers of rubbish and glass and things. It has changed quite dramatically. There's more car theft and there's a lot more vandalism now but I think that's just as the teenagers come to the age of 12 to 15 16 17 I think it's just that there's nothing really on the estate for them to do we'd appreciate a skate park over in this area for the elder children and then there wouldn't have to be so much destruction on this area no I just think that the Hawksworth um, community is a great community and we need all the help and support that we can get we have great people we have bad people but overall we're kind of fantastic One of our objectives, uh, which is also the objective of the West Yorkshire Police, uh, is to create a closer link uh, with the communities and, uh, and it's actually to build up confidence um, with the community, for uh, example the fear of crime, um, antisocial behaviour. Without the community help, uh, it becomes very, very tough for the police and the more information we can get, the better it is and let's have these offenders where they belong. I want people at the end of the day uh, to feel very proud of Hawksworth Wood, uh, being proud of everything that's going on, uh, to have a very, very close link with the police, have a close link with all the other agencies that are working there. Leeds Cares is an organisation which is part of business in the community and they have three main challenge days a year. We're going to the skip. And they have, from all the big companies in Leeds, people give their time. So organisations let their staff go out and then community projects apply to them to have sort of makeovers done. So it's home's a real mixture of sort of opportunities for people and that's why we've come here. We're going to build a sort of a bamboo sculpture thing in here with sort of different stones and different laid out sort of beds in here um, so that they've got somewhere where they can actually do some planting and see some different bits growing, hopefully. The difference is if we were to do it ourselves, uh, it would probably take six months to do the same amount of work. And it just enthuses everybody. And you can, you can walk around the school and there's a real buzz to the place. You know, the kids really want to get involved with it. Mm. <laughs> uh, my name's Phil Hopkins. I'm from Park Lane College and we are painting a mur mural on this wall. Hang on, no, hang on, it's moved. 
Um, but we're squaring the wall up. We've got a drawing on the table over there, a small drawing, so we need to scale it up. Pick up scrap metal, keep it clean, you know, you know, try to keep the place clean and what have you, I don't know, I just, there's no wrong with estate, is there, it's just like people are putting up here, there's no wrong with people that's lived up here all their life, which, say I feel sorry for more than anyone else. Just press that, Daz. Yeah. That goes there. Uh, it's a good spot to be in because I raised thousands of pounds for charities. And if there's only six children all like that, pigeon men at first time of sales, and donate the proceeds. Don't go in there. I'll have to go. I can't stand in front of that camera. I'll wreck it. No, no you've you put don't. pigeons in. You're putting pigeons on. It's hard, aren't they? <laughs> There's loads of good people up on this estate. Tremendous people. I'd like it to be like it was years and years ago. Lovely way you could just walk around and have no problems at all. It'd be lovely. Mm. Yeah. What's the number, Trevor? 8456. Yeah. Yeah. I like it with YMCA. I'm called Sarah McIntyre. I work for the Yorkshire Dance Centre teaching dance in the area. We're working towards a production for um, the Summer Breeze Festival tomorrow in town and also for the Civic Theatre on the 9th of July. Basically we've been working on a street dance piece um, we started off here with just four or five children and now we've got up to ten solid kids that come every week and really enjoy it. Oh, I haven't got out yet. Yeah, they went up at eleven. Other ones here, Dave, as well. Come on, lad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, lad. Come on. Come on. You got a thimble? Yeah, come on. Oh, yeah. It's a nail. <laughs> you give a big, big yell to. The Hockey Dancers, yes! Yeah, we're 10th North Leeds St Mary's Club Pack, I'm Mark Ayla. Um Got three invested clubs and three non-invested clubs at the moment. Come down here today to do a bit of badge work um, about pond life, see what kind of 
um, creatures and things live in the pond. And at the moment, they're having a bit of fun. We were also fresh and watching things float down the chute. Cubs at the moment um, running because of lack of leaders and boys. Um, maybe I could get more boys to join Cubs if I had some, if there was somebody else to help me. That's what we're desperate for for leaders. When it's a man's being supported by a woman, most people say, well, what's different about that? But I've been supported by 20 net women who now have acted as Lady Mary's. And it's really been my great pleasure to have Pat Oddie here, because Pat Oddie is like the rest of you. She's a woman who's brought up her own family, is a good grandmother, has worked tirelessly in the community, is running a charity shop along with her colleagues here, is a significant member of a community group which has been successful in getting its own headquarters, which are really quite beautiful. I got this telephone call on this particular evening. It was Bernard. And he said, would I be prepared to be one of his Lady Mayoresses? Me, I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely thrilled and delighted. Not only for me, but for the rest of the women on the estate, like Hetty and Victoria and, and, and you know, all, the, all the other women that work so hard in the community. Barbara and Margaret Ronsley. And there are too, too many to name, but they're all equally deserving, all of them. Can't really say to the spouse, look, love. Absolutely grand, a treat. I've met some wonderful people, and uh, I feel like... My first event as Lady Mayoress was to crown my own granddaughter as uh, the gala queen at St Mary's Church. And that was, that was unbelievable. When, I, when I, I could hardly speak, I was so emotional. I've been here, since in 74, and a lot of people here have been very close friends, good friends, and I've got great admiration for them. There was a lot of poverty, I think there still is, but there's an enormous amount of goodwill and a lot of self-help. And I think it typifies the best elements of the old-fashioned working-class community. But now it's all coming full circle. We're getting the improvements. It's going to take about eight years to do the whole estate, but when it's done, it'll be beautiful, really beautiful. Yeah, and I think if you if you you know you improve the visual appearance, you, you get that environment where people are different. They have an outlook that's different, and they think, well, you know, what the heck, we're going to be different, you know. Martin knows all about that's two cases. Uh, give, give them confidence and um, create sort of a can-do philosophy of Hawksworth Wood, you know. Wants them. I can do it, you know. I've yeah, got a, I've got a trail. I can do it. The estate does mean a lot to me, and the people in the estate mean a lot to me. Um, I've met some wonderful people who are now class as friends, and the older people uh, I meet are almost like mums and dads to me. You know, there's not many estates in Leeds situated as nicely as this one. It's dead handy for Leeds. Uh, got woodland round it. It's high up, away from the main roads. Superb, superb place. Lots of garden area, lots of green area. It's obvious when you walk around the estate that it, it could be a lot, lot nicer. And it's just getting the balance right. The people here are worth working for and, and, and helping. Um, and they um, are the best people that you could ever meet. Hopefully we'll call it now Hawksworth Wood Village instead of Hawksworth Wood Estate.